Hello, YouTubers. Hello, subscribers. I hope that your Monday is going well. I hope some of you got to rest and relax. And I don't have on my earrings. Hello, hello, hello out there in London, UK, Sussex, Virginia, Denmark, Australia, Scotland. Hello, my lovely, lovely subscribers. Listen, I think we're at 2,000, if I'm not sure. The last time I checked, we were at 1,960-something subscribers. <laughs> I'm so excited about reaching the 2,000 mark. Kisses to all of you who have been here from the beginning, meaning uh, months ago when I started. Love all of you. Thank you for your comments. You're kind. Um, everything that you say to me, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, another thing is, um, I love your comments. We are not going to always agree. I love that about us. Because you guys have your own thoughts and things going on about what you think about situations. And then I like how you add your thing. Most of you wanted me to know that the robe that Catherine had on was a traditional, like an outfit. Okay. <laughs> it still didn't do it for me. And um, you can tell, like there's this one other lady that she's a, all she does is fashion. Now, um, she's a black lady. I don't know her name, but she does like the Met Gala and all of that. But she, like we both said, that the headpiece was beautiful on Catherine. It was beautiful. Nothing Catherine puts on can be ugly. I just didn't care for it. Um, I really wish I had a, seen a tiara. And um, most of you are saying how other people are saying stuff about money and trying to reserve it and not trying to flash. No. You started off with the carriage that was like, boom, in your face, everyone. Watch the carriage. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I would love to just get a picture of it. I would just love to have like a picture. I'm going to put it in my little case. But anyway, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The headpiece was beautiful. And um, she didn't disappoint, that's for sure. But, you know, when will I get to see a tiara on Miss Catherine again? Or, or cause she'll have a crown on when she's crowned queen. She will actually wear, oh God, can you imagine her with it on the, the same uh, crown that Camilla had? I can't wait to see that. Yeah. That's why you wake up at three or four o'clock in the morning. Anyway, moving on. Kisses to all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you for staying true to yourself as well. Um, Harry, Harry's getting a kick in the butt. They're talking about how Harry, um, left, how he looked when he was there, how the feather was in his face, how he is looked at no longer. He doesn't look like the, the royal son. I'm sorry. He wasn't even acknowledged as the royal son when he got there. He was just in the back with Beatrice and them. It was a real somber, like, the, he looked like the prodigal son. Didn't look like he was coming home as the prodigal son. He just looks like someone that's lost. They're lost. They created, Megan created this firestorm. Now she's running around jogging and exercising <laughs> during the coronation. It's just a weird, it's a weird thing that's going on with them too. They're always separate. And then when they're together, they're odd. And then, um... The, the, the whole thing is we're watching Megan become. We're watching Megan become. Become what she's always wanted to become when she married into the royal family. This is, she's on her road to being what she really wanted. I want to also talk about the Sussex Squad. You're losing. Sussex Squad, let, someone needs to knock on their door and let them know that the insults, the insults that you guys throw, it's just, it's childish and it's petty. 
because you can't talk about the substance of what's going on with your girl. So instead of talking about what's really going on, you guys want to attack the person, the messenger that's telling you what's really going on over there, that she is using the royal family and using Harry for her brand. It's the truth. And Harry, <laughs> and then the Sussex squad is trying to treat, treat us like Harry's on Megan's side. No, if you look closely, Harry is going through something tragic. And he's not walking in to the Abbey or getting off the plane looking like some stud or someone. He looks like an idiot. I'm sorry. Harry does not look like the prince that he once looked like before he married her. She has taken his stripes. She has taken his honor. She has taken everything from him. And he's holding on like a thread. Yes, he put on a brave face and went and see his father. But he had minimum coverage. You barely saw him. And then the feather was in his way, of course. But it showed me that Harry is no longer relevant to the royal family. And they have moved on without him. And that if he still wants to be a part of the royal family, then get on board, Harry. But we're not apologizing to you. You're not getting a special seat. Your wife ain't running things over here. I heard on the Zeus channel that... They haven't even seen the video or Netflix. Why would they watch that crap? Why would he, Why would William open up that porn book and listen to his brother talk about his circumcision? No. Harry's a clown. He made a porn book, a circus-like book, to talk about his family right before the coronation. And we they supposed to greet him with a, Hello, Harry, welcome home. They've done that. And every time they've done that, he has been, he has proven, Harry has proven that he cannot be trusted and that he is a traitor. Because as soon as you give him a hug, he's going to write it down and say, Beatrice gave me a hug. And then they talked to, talk to me while I was sitting there. They put him in a position where he could not do the things that he's been doing, which is bashing his entire family and his father for what? He said the ball is in their corner. He did this for Megan. He said she opened up for his eyes. He said he didn't realize anything about unconscious bias until she came into the picture. But the success squad wouldn't pretend like none of that is going on and bury it and talk about things to attack the, the messengers. That's telling they want to attack the channels and us because we're telling we're telling our side of how we see their princess. And since they don't really have anything nice to say, Bozy, then you attack us. Kerry didn't look like a boss. He didn't look like he walked in and had any power. Harry looked like he was a lost dog and he was making these weird faces the whole time so he wouldn't feel uncomfortable because he knows all eyes were on him, if not on camera, at the Abbey. Because people want to see the son that betrayed the father and the entire family. And William didn't look back. I believe when William went to his seat, he didn't see nothing but Catherine and his two children. William has something to say to him. He's telling us. William is letting us know that he doesn't have a relationship with his brother because of the wife. Okay, let me move on. I noticed this. So, God, I could talk about the coronation all day. How beautiful, how wonderful. The music, the songs, the ambiance, the, the homage to all cultures. Charles didn't leave a culture unturned. Everybody was there. Every culture was there. So it didn't signal a racist family to me, Sussex and Boise. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't plant a racism vibe over it. It did the opposite. It showed that these two are two idiots. Look, Megan looks like an idiot. I'm sorry, she does. She looks stupid. She missed it and she met, let her kids miss it. But remember the Oprah show when she said she wished she had this big family and now she's got, the, now she got such a big family she can't even remember all their names. 
Because the royal family is huge. And if you were going to have the kids be a part of something or have cousins, this would have been the time for them to hang out with them. You guys know more than me about this subject. And I'm going to ask you, what is going to happen to Archie and Lilibet as they grow up with a mother like this? Like, how will they personality develop? Because I feel like if, you, if you're if you born into one, then you're prone to be like that too. Like father, like son, or father, like daughter. I think Megan takes narcissism into a whole nother a level. She does. I've never seen or heard of anyone being this ruthless. But the story is, is that Archie was having this big birthday party with the celebrities. And Harry had to rush home to see that. Okay, whatever. My point is, is that so the kids get to miss it because of Megan's trickery. History was made. History. And I will always remember where I was and what I was doing during the time of history making. Where her Megan was. Hiking with her friend, fake friends. And I haven't listened to what people think about her coming out the next day because I, it was the day of the next day. I don't know. I was really expecting some pictures of Archie's birthday party. I think I would have liked to have seen that like to have seen Archie's pictures instead of seeing her. But it's her. It's Megan. It's all, it's, it's the Megan show. It's the Megan show. <laughs> but can you feel her losing that notoriety, that global status, that, that thing that she wanted and the reason why she married Harry? I feel like it's slipping away and it's daunting. And Bozy and them are still trying to make her relative. No, they got this. When you have to say that you have it and 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 pretend and try to make a big deal out of it or 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 try to diminish those that are doing good. Like he didn't want to be at the be 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 there anyway. I don't know what all boys he said, but the point is is that he's a sore loser. That's the point. Sore, 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 sore losers attack. When people feel like they are losing or whatever, in his case, this is Boise's, I don't know his personality, but I know people like him. That when they have lost, when they're losing, when they feel like, uh-oh, this isn't going my way, they feel like they have to attack people personally. Or they have to attack and say things that aren't true. Or, and then when they do say it, it makes them look even stupider because you had to punch low in order for people to even pay attention to what you're saying. No, Boise, your girl and your boy are losing. They're losing. They've been losing, but it just shows more because you can't say, I am not a part of this, like being in the back and having a feather in front of your face. I am no longer really a part of the royal family. I'm just here because I'm the son. He looked lost and it looks sad and it looks like it's over. And so it doesn't look like he's a part of the royal family. You let me know. Let's see what else. Cause me and a little bit of them both to the part, but I did want to talk about William. Okay. So when he gave his speech to his father, okay. When he said, hello, your majesties, I was like, okay. And then he went on with the speech, but I didn't hear him say anything about Camilla because she got crowned too. But the speech wasn't about her. The speech was about King Charles. So someone made a note, but I thought it. I said, hmm, he didn't say anything about Camilla. Like, welcome to, you know, anything. And so someone brought it up and I want to know what you guys think. And I know most of you are going to say this wasn't about him. It was about, it wasn't about Camilla. It's about Charles. I get that. 
But Charles wanted her to play a very important part, and that was being crowned and being called queen. And I don't think it was a dig at her. I just think that he felt, I really think that William was saying something to his father. But it would have been, like, I was looking for that, that. Because usually if you got two people in the box, you got you got a queen and a king. Don't you mention both of them? So, I don't know. Missed opportunity, I would say. Or I would say too, nitpicking too much. I, I would call that nitpicking. Meaning it's not a big deal. Let's move on. Um, What else did I get? That's it. I'm going to let you guys go. Let me know what you think about Harry's involvement with the royal family, his family, his the monarchy and everything. What will become of Harry? He doesn't have WME. That's Megan's thing. That's her. She's the she's the one that needs to be branded. Harry didn't know anything about being branded. Harry was already branded. He is a prince. He doesn't need recognition. He was already recognized. But she turned his recognition into poop. Why? Do you think that Megan was trying to discredit her husband's popularity so she could look good? That would be stupid. But I asked that question because she's working on her brand. It's not a group. It's not a. It's not a uh, couple's effort. This, like someone said, she's trying to break off and do her own brand without her husband. She doesn't want to be attached. I'm sure Bo Bolsey can probably give us some more insight on that. Yeah, she just wants her own. She just wants to be an individual. Well, if you wanted to be an individual and wanted your own, then you shouldn't have married into the royal family. But you needed them to be relevant. You sick. It's just a sick story. When you think about it, Unfortunately, Megan, you had to get connected with the royal family to be relative. And now that you're relative because of the royal family, now you want to diss them and treat them like they didn't help you become a global whatever you are today. And this, the verdict is still out on if you're going to be a star or not yet. Because you... You went in bashing the family thinking that that was a good element and was going to raise your popularity at what part, what point. Anyway. So she doesn't want to be attached to Harry anymore in his family. Now that she didn't, now that they, now that we know who she is. Now that the world know who Megan is, she doesn't want us to know that, you know, she got famous because of the royal family. We will always know that. Because we don't know who you are and we still don't. We didn't know you from Suits and we don't know you today. The story is still changing and the verdict is out. I know who you are. You're just not a very nice person. Not a person that people really would want to. <laughs> a Mimi person. God, can you imagine having a friend like that? You're always going somewhere and it's always about them. And then to the point where you're just like, I'm not going. I'm not going with her because all she's going to do is talk about herself and, and want me to do stuff for her. And then when I don't, she's going to get mad and kick me to the curb. Megan's relevance was because of the royal family. But now that she's trying to distance herself from that and become her own brand, like someone said, what is she going to do? You had this big vision board of what you were going to become and what you were going to be able to do. But you left out that you don't have the talent for all these things. Because I'm sure president was at the top. President. Mm -mm -mm -mm. She doesn't want to be a first lady. She doesn't want to be a queen. She wants to be the king. She wants to be the head person in charge. She doesn't want to be second to her husband. I found that out the other day on the... Um, The uh, body language guy, when he showed me that clip, and I'm, I'm probably running late, and you guys probably already knew this, but she doesn't want to play second to her husband. She wants to be first. That's why she pushes him and moves him back. Like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm it. 
You lucky to have, be with me, but we don't, that's not true. That's not true. We see you because of Harry. And now that we see you, we don't like what we see. But, okay, so we see you. But it's not enough because you want to be, it, it's got to be more. And so that's why she's breaking off from her husband. Is because she doesn't want to be tied with him. Especially now that he's a drug, drug addict. And I dare say a drug addict. But telling everybody that he's taking drugs and doing all this stuff. Messing up her brand. Is that what she was trying I'm breaking off from Harry because his brain sucks. No, you made him what his brand is, and that's why it sucks. Because you came along with your trickery and created this new Harry that the UK people are saying that they don't even know. They don't know who this Harry is, and Harry don't even know who he is. He didn't even look like what I thought he was going to look like. I thought he was going to look like a robot kind of just walked apart, but it was so odd for him because he's never been in the back like that. He's used to being up there with his family. What a weird situation. That was the whole, the weirdest part of the whole ceremony is how Harry was in the back and walking alone and sitting there by himself. Why, why his wife come up with excuses on why she can't make it. And then we, she pop up running with some friends, which tells me in my life, I don't care about, I don't care. Like Rosie, I think he said it. She doesn't care about the coronation. She doesn't, she didn't miss anything. Why? Because you got left out and nobody cared. <laughs> nobody cared. For the first time, I really actually got to see like it was really focused on who it was supposed to be focused on, which was the king. And so I don't know how they pulled that off, but what with, with, I do, but it was just so awesome just to be able to enjoy it without all of that. But you still got the sun in the back and she's not happy. You, mm -mm, you can't tell me she wasn't, she's not happy that she didn't make it. No. She's just upset because she wasn't going to play a part in that. And then she was going to look exactly like Harry looked like in and out. But it still would have made her look better today if she had to just did an in and out. Because then it would have told me, nope, she's not making it about herself. But she is because she makes this beautiful announcement about how she is going to break out from William. I mean, from Harry. Boop. I'm done with you, Harry. Boop. I've become my own princess. Let's look. Let's see how far WME get her in her newness. Listen, I'm out of here, guys. It may be the only video that I that I talk about. I know I'm missing something. Um, no, no, no. Listen, I enjoyed the entire production, the entire coordination, the concert, the the entire um, ceremony. It was, it didn't disappoint at all. We were very, um, what I'm trying to say, it, it was very entertaining, very entertaining. Thank you guys so much. Let me know what you think about Harry's absence. Let me know what you think about Megan's newness. Um, and do you think that, uh, do you think they are, I feel like they're at a crossroads. Because I really feel that they, Harry, Harry and Megan just keeps doing this. And so, as they keep doing this, I don't see it going up. No matter what. No matter what she does. It just falls flat. You know, it, it, no matter what she's going to do from now on moving forward, she will be scrutinized for it. And looked at just, you're the one that did all this. And that you're the one that didn't even show up and support. You wasn't there after all that they did for you. The wedding, the clothes, the, the support, the love, the trust. All that they gave her. All that they did for Megan. In the one year that she was there, she was only there one year. She managed to rip it apart. Even if I decided that I didn't want to be, do royal duties anymore. 
I wouldn't have blamed the family for me leaving. I wouldn't have came up with a cockamamie story to have people hate the royal family like Megan did. If you are leaving, then leave. No, you left and wanted to tell your story, but your story is full of lies and deceitful. And then when you get ready to tell your story, you add to it. The one that will never get out of my brain is the fact that you wasn't even pregnant when Harry had that conversation with, about what color would the babies look like. So don't give it a name. She likes to say that they were concerned about what color. She said baby. She didn't say Archie, did she? Well, if she said Archie, if they were concerned about the color of Archie's skin color, she's a lie because Archie didn't even exist. And mostly you don't even think that she had kids and it is gaining steam her belly being twisted and not you know bending down and it's moving and stuff it looked weird I couldn't bend down when I was pregnant I asked honey can you grab that <laughs> Woo! I love you guys thank you so much I hope I didn't disappoint with this video also, I saw Catherine and the kids and William running around. They were doing um, bow, bow and arrow things. And I say things, but actually they were doing, it was a lot of people there. And they were somewhere having a family day and helping and always doing service first. Always putting others first. Always putting others first. William put his father, his family, and his country first. So does, so does King Charles, and so does Camilla, and so does the rest of the royal family, except for two. Instead of them trying to figure out how they can help and be humanitarians and lie about it, they say what they're going to do, but they never do it. You see William giving his life for service. And it contradicts what that idiot said in his uh, on the Oprah show that they didn't want to be in it. You can't tell me that raw life is fun all the time. But you can't tell me that William wants to trade his life for Harry's. Bozy. No, 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 no. If I'm going to be on a Sussex team, I'm going to tell you guys the truth. I'm not going to be over there pumping someone up that's doing the wrong thing. I'm not going to be over there saying, oh, she's a wonderful person while her kids is running around not able to see other family members because of her own selfishness. Every time I see her, I, it's just selfish. My first thought is, wow, she's beautiful. <laughs> and then the second one is, is that What's going on in there that makes you think that what you do is just really any good for anyone around you, but it's all for you? How is Archie's birthday party going to be this big grand thing if he misses his father's coronation? Why is Harry running around like a chicken? Why is it imperative that he gets back home so quickly, so fast and misses Maybe even saying hello to his father. I blame her. It's all Megan's fault. And Harry goes along with it like a two-year-old. Listen. Louis could teach Harry a thing or two. I love Louis. Louis is so cute. He's my favorite. He's my favorite because... He's a kid, and I like that he wants to be a kid, and I love that his mother allows him to do it. Shoot. Sit down. Don't say this. Be quiet. Quit telling them kids to be quiet. It's a concert. Yell, scream, lay out on the floor, fall asleep in my arms. We're going to do it all right here during the coronation. Listen, have a wonderful evening, guys.